Good morning. Um, I'm going to do a tour video, an updated tour video. Um, there's a lot of new subscribers, so welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate you, and I'm so happy to see the channel growing and building the community. Um, and I think it's a good time to show, um, give like a tour of my car home. Um, but first, coffee time. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, um, <laughs> so it's actually hours later. Um, I ended up doing some door dashing today and um, I just wanted to get started with that. And so now it's, I think around three in the afternoon. And um, yeah, I'm at a park and I thought it'd be a good place to show the tour. Yeah, there's a lot of new people. So hopefully this will like just kind of show the living space and maybe answer some of the questions. Um, I'll try to really be in the comments with this one. So if you guys have questions about the setup, um, I could respond um, or I'll try to answer them in the video if I've, um, if they come to mind and I hope you enjoy the tour <laughs> of my car home. I've lived in a few vehicles and if you look back on my channel, you'll see like um, I did a van conversion and then I also lived in a Toyota Corolla for a while. Um, but this is by far my favorite. It feels like such a nice combination of being able to door dash and getting good mileage. Um, and it's very, very stealth. Like it kind of just blends right in. And it also has enough room to have everything I need and feel cozy and homey and sleep comfortably. I can do what I want to do. And so, yeah, this is kind of like the perfect car life vehicle for me, for where I'm at right now. So I'll be happy to show you around. Let's go. <laughs> My car is a 2006 Honda Pilot. It's got four-wheel drive and it has a solar panel on the roof, but it's hard to see. I have a kitchen that can be accessed both from the inside and the outside. Um, this is it from the outside. You can see I have my utensils, my stove. Um, I have some drawers that can be accessed both sides and I have food underneath. Um, food storage, gluten-free noodles. I think this is a pancake mix, yep. Um, I was gonna make some cobbler with that eventually. And you can see my gray water system. Um, I have a short about this and I shortened, I shortened it so it's a little different, um, but it still works well to just pour it in the funnel and that goes into a gallon container. On the door, I have my elderberry syrup that I made in a video, and down there are my dishwashing things. All right, let's go around to the other side, and you can see the kitchen from the inside. I can actually sit on the bed and work at the kitchen, and there's kind of my living area, living room if you, if you want to call it that. So it's almost a twin size bed. It's a little bit uh, more narrow, but I have a pretty comfy mattress. 
I have lots of pillows so I can arrange them um, and be comfortable sitting up or laying down. And under here are my clothes. These bags contain my clothes. The middle one is for dirty laundry and the one on the right is for uh, my tops and then the one on the left is pants. And then I have my kitchen area. You can see the drawers that pull from both sides, inside and outside. I usually use it from the inside, uh, but if I'm at like a campground or something, it's nice to cook outside. Um, but most of the time I use it inside, so everything is pretty accessible mostly from the inside. Um, I have this cup that I use for when I brush my teeth. Um, I kind of use this to fill it up with water. You know, it just helps kind of brush my teeth, and then I can pour that in my little gray water system that I have. So here's the kitchen again. Um, I have spices on this top shelf, if you want to call it that, and then down there are coffee, um, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, and I have a cutting board for when I need to cut up vegetables, and I have a little igloo co cooler, um, and it has a just a bag of ice in there that's that's melted, actually, but yep, there's that little cooler. It works for, I don't know, 24 hours or so. You can see the gray water system there again and yeah this piece of fleece up here um, is held on by pins in the corners and a piece of fabric tape and it just creates um like a, a really even seam so there's no space on top of the curtain well there's a space but then the fleece fills it in so at night the light doesn't shine through um so that way i can draw the curtain and it's all sealed up on this side, I have a throw blanket. Um, I have my bag for, you know, if I'm going to a coffee shop or something, I can carry that in there. And then this is all kind of like my facial cleansers, toothpaste, deodorant. Um, I have some isopropyl alcohols, hydrogen peroxide, some wipes, um, washcloths, and just kind of like hygiene stuff. Um, yeah, first aid kit. So underneath the bed here, I um, have a little bit of a, it's like my garage. Um, I do have this wool blanket, which is great for like laying on the beach or um, this summer I used it a lot under a tree. Here are my winter boots that I use. Um, they're waterproof, rainproof, very comfortable, easy to throw on and like really good for the weather. This is a, a sink, a pop-up sink. I've actually never used it before, but it's nice to have just in case I need need it for something. These are these heavy-duty Tupperware containers. They both are kind of storage, food and clothes. This is my bag of yarn and it has some hats in it. And then here's my gym bag. Um, yeah, that I bring into like the shower and stuff. On this door, I have some hardware stuff like um, and sprays, cleaner stuff. This is where I keep peppermint oil um, to spray around my wheel wells to keep rodents away. And these are like odds and ends, batteries and stuff. These are um, glass wipes um, and other hardware stuff. Scissors, lighter. These are wooden shims. They help keep like everything at the right angle, like the um, shelf and my drawers in the back. And then I have like socket wrenches. All right, this is from the back of the car with the hatch open. And I've got my bookshelf. I've got these little shelves that hold socks, um, sports bra, underwear. I have this power pack, battery station, power station. And that is attached to a solar panel, which is on the roof of my car. It's a 110 watt EcoFlow and it works great. I love it. Um, this back pillow has my zero degree sleeping bag in it. I just took out the pillow and I stuffed my sleeping bag in there. Back here, I have a shower and a curtain um, that I can hang up. And I've got some other stuff. I've got a fan, some books, um, some nice smelling sprays, and some candles and a couple other things back there. All right, back inside. Um, here are these bags again. So, um, yeah, these are my pants. 
somebody asked if they were leather and they're made of paper actually um they're reusable tote bags from trader joe's i think they were eight dollars each and they're great they're like grocery bags um i just really liked them so i got three of them they're very durable even though they're made of paper and i've washed them before um so they're washable too so you know i don't think they'll hold up forever but they work great for now um i also keep over here um a candle that i can use and the seashell jar that i'm gathering seashells in um, and it's got lights so there's that they just kind of tuck because they would fall as i'm driving around so i just tuck them under there this is my mattress it's pretty comfy it's an rv mattress and i believe it's three maybe four inches thick my pots and pans i keep behind the shelf there um, there's the skillet, the frying pan thing, and then these two. Um, so this has a lid to it that's also kept back there. I have a um, enamel bowl that I can use to mix up, you know, cake batter and stuff. Um, and and that's it. Those are that's basically my dishes. All right, let's go around the front. It's basically just like a car, like to keep it pretty simple. Um, I do have some Febreze and hair oil on that door and hand sanitizer. I keep hand sanitizer there. On this side, I keep my supplements in that bag. Um, I take a lot of herbal supplements, fish oil, uh, probiotics, uh, collagen, different stuff I take there. And this is a craft box. So it has embroidery thread, mini ornaments, just odds and ends that are for crafting specifically. Got my reusable coffee mug and my co-pilot. And this is a cool thing that I use to massage my face. So sometimes while I'm driving, I just like to, I don't know, it's like a rose quartz. It has a name. I don't remember what it is, but use it to massage. And here's odds and ends, sunglasses, things like that. All right, now it's nighttime and I'm gonna show the inside setup of the car. So um, first thing I do is I hop in the back and I close this curtain. And um, I showed earlier these fleece things that hang over so that creates like a real good seal. So I've started leaving the back off during the day and um, putting it up at night. And then same with this one, just to let some light in and for visibility. Um, while driving around. So I'm gonna put the window covers up and show what it looks like on the inside, kind of like in night mode. So I have these uh, lights that I use that are attached around the ceiling. Yeah, they're like, um, fairy lights I guess you could call them and they just kind of go around the perimeter and I have them held on by these um, hooks these tiny little safety pins and they're just opened and then one they're stuffed in the ceiling like it's an open safety pin and the pin part is pushed in the ceiling and then I looped the wire through um, and I have this lamp that I have set up and I have to turn on my um, this power the I think it's AC power um, to be able to operate that. It's just a lamp, but it has a switch down here and then I can turn that on. And um, here's, here's inside stealth mode. <laughs> Nighttime stealth mode. And um, I think I might go walk around from the outside and just show because it's, the light doesn't shine through with the covers up like this. You can't tell from the outside. So let's go take a walk around and see from the outside if any of the lights coming through. All right, here's a look at the car from the outside. I'll turn the camera around. Okay, here we are from the outside. The front looks just regular. I could see a little bit over there in the corner.
here we are. All right, so that's my um, car tour, my updated car tour with my decor for 2024. Um, hopefully I answered like some questions people had. Feel free to an um, ask any more in the comments down below. And if you're watching for the first time um, my channel, I would love it if you subscribed and joined this growing beautiful community. Um, also, if you're already subscribed, could you double check? Because I've had a few people say that um, YouTube is like unsubscribing people. So I'm not sure what that's about, but um, yeah, I, I've gotten that comment a few times that people who thought they were subscribed weren't. So if you could make sure that you are, if you'd like to be, that would be great. Um, and if you enjoyed the video and got something out of it, um, if you could hit the thumbs up button and um, give it a like, that would be helpful for me. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that's a little bit more about my, uh, my car, my car home. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'll be doing, um, I think probably some more door dashing soon. Um, and in the live, it came up to try some gator. I'm not sure I'm going to do that or not, but if I do, I'll post a little short about it. So <laughs> that might be coming up as well. Um, Okay, I hope everybody is doing well and have a wonderful night, and I will see you on the next one.